This deck is killing it. Only shooting stars break the mold. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Brawl Stars. I'm Amy the Amazonian, and today I'm playing Kellen. Faye flooded. Kellen is Oko's son and a holder of many equipments and auras. The more he's got on him, the bigger the rest of your team gets. And he helps you find those auras and equipments with the Birthright Boon. What's cool about this commander is that on turn two, you can cast Birthright Boon. And then on turn three, you can cast Kellen himself. Uh, the way that adventures work from the command zone is you can choose to cast either side. Well, once you cast the adventure, you can put him on an adventure in exile and then cast him for his normal cost, even if the adventure was being taxed. Kellen's really cool and gives you an excuse to play lots of great Boros cards, like the ones that work well with auras and equipments. I'm talking about not just the easy ones like Sram, but I'm even talking about some of the ones you might not get to see as often, like Mary. Rayav and Jorkadeen. There's a lot of really fun cards too that let you equip things for free, looking at you, Brunor Battlehammer, or get cheaper with the more equipments that you have. And if your equipment ends up in the graveyard, don't worry, we've got Sun Titan here and Forge Anew to help bring those back. This deck also has a couple spells to help protect whoever you're loading up with all these things, because it is a bit of a Voltron deck. Uh, I'm running Giver of Runes and Skrelv to help protect whoever we're giving our things to, which is hopefully Kellen, because when you put things on Kellen, everybody else in the battlefield gets stronger. And that means that you can get in some really good swings. In order to get some evasion, you can specifically seek out various equipment that give you protection or make you unblockable. There's a lot of different things you can do because you're able to search through your 99 cards and find exactly the aura and equipment that you need for the given situation. In fact, Probably one of the best pieces you can get is Ossification, which doesn't even go on your creatures. It goes on your land to exile your opponent's creatures or planeswalkers. This is, by the way, such a fantastic card. I would say the number two best aura removal is Planar Disruption, and I'm not even running it in this deck. But what I am running, just in case the game goes a little too long, is Overwhelming Splendor. Because sometimes things just need to be one ones so you can actually kill your opponent. You, we're doing our best. We're doing our best by turning everything into one ones. So we're going to take a Kellen into the queue and we're gonna give him a couple swords. Psychedelic Shock, it's Gix Yogmoth Crater. This is a mono black aggro commander that draws cards when the little weenies in the deck hit you in the face. This seems like an okay hand. We have white, we have red, we have Mary. I'm ready to get Mary. I'm Mary every day. Hmm, actually, I kind of like going for Jorkadeen. That way we have Jorkadeen and we have Mary. We can draw a card if we have two Legends attack. These two. Oh no! We've been chopped. Tenacious Underdog is a recurrable threat. He can come back from the graveyard. Makes me feel like... Go for some ossification. Enchant my one basic here to get him off the battlefield. Hi, Gix. Five mana now. And a Phyrexian Obliterator! Oh, don't you wish you had our ossification now? He's a scary guy. He's real scary. He's super duper scary. It's fine. I'll just either make him into nothing or go or go over him. I like go over. Let's see. I don't have any protection from black in this deck. We do have a way to make a 10-10. That's not really what I want right now. I think we're going shopping at Sky Mall. In the boots. Boots. With the fur? Mm, with the fire. Since we've got Brunor, let's play Brunor and give him the boots. Brunor means that we only have to pay zero mana for this equip. 
and I'll attack in. They're swinging for eight. I'm swinging for seven for now. Helen's like, wait, isn't this my deck? Aren't I supposed to be a part of this? Yes, sweetie, we'll get there when we get there. Have I ever bought things from Sky Mall? No. And now Sky Mall, I believe, is gone? Brave Pact. Oh. Whenever their creatures die, my creatures die. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm just double checking something. Okay, so here's the good news. If they use like a destroy creature effect on their creature, I can stop it because this says target, not target you control. If it's a sacrifice effect, I can't do crap about it. If it's a destroy effect, if they try to like infernal grasp their own card, I, I can Loran's escape it. You wouldn't kill a rat, would you? They would kill a rat. That monster! I saved the rat from destruction! Rat saved! Yeah! We are going to live forever! I'm a hero. I saved the rat. <gasps> I'm a hero. I saved the rat. Good game. Ashiok, wicked manipulator, pays in cards instead of life and creates tokens that get bigger on a turn if a card went into exile. Doesn't matter whose card or what form of exile, just gets bigger. So we have Skrelf to protect. We have Sticky Fingers to get some treasures. Okay, I'm down. Oh, and a hammer. I don't have a good way to equip the hammer, but you know, I got a Chandra. We have some ramp here. Oh, get him, Skrelf. Gosh, you're such a good little guy. I like how they're crying, like, hey, you dealt a damage. I did deal a damage, and I might do more. Maybe. I feel like we're always just going to be grabbing one of these. I'm going to go for the Swift Foot Boots here. That way we have the potential for indestructible and hexproof. Truly, you will be the slipperiest of bogles. And we just pass the turn. They try to kill him, we will protect him. Blood Pact. Oh, okay, they draw two cards and lose two life. So anything that loses life once Ashiok is out turns that life loss into cards exiled from deck. As long as you have cards in your deck. This all feeds into Ashiok's ultimate ability, this minus seven here, that exiles your opponent's entire deck, assuming you've built up enough cards in exile, which usually you have. Another Grave Pact? Okay. Sure. I mean, I guess it's a cool card. Sticky! Against black, I don't think I need to leave up protection once I have Hexproof there. Hello, Ashiok. Do you minus? They do minus. And I'm going to kill Ashiok. Not the tokens, though. Killing the tokens is bad. For me. Not, not for them. I can still get four damage in. Using Skrell. I'll pay two life. Life is a resource. The tokens are black, but now they cannot block Kellen. Damage and more damage. I do see that Faceless Haven over there. And I plus. Ooh, 
sort of fluff the flop. Yeah, gimme. Yes, you have tokens. You can kill Chandra. I see the Faceless Haven and I see the Nightmares. If I use Sword of Fire and Ice, yes, it will get rid of my sticky fingers. However, I draw a card if that happens. It's fine. Hey, protection? What? Protect? Disgusting. Impossible. I don't have a way to get through protection. I have ways to get through indestructible. I don't have ways to get through protection. So this means that they have protection from Chandra. Darn. What do we got? The land, no damage is dealt because they have protection. Why kill a creature when we can make it disappear? Oh, you do have cards in hand. A lot of them. Too many of them. There's too many cards in hand. They have a potential colorless creature. They have menace currently. We would lose the menace if we use the sword. You elder spell. There go my planeswalkers. Bye guys. Bye, Izzy. Ooh, Tavern Swindler. That's such a fun card. And they want to firmly grasp it. Um, yeah, okay. Bye, Skrelv. Yeah. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. I pick up my Sword of Fire and Ice. And I kick your butt! Let's go, Kellen! Two grave packs in a row. What are the chances? Kroxa and Kunaros, Dog and Titan alike, fill up the graveyard and then reanimate from the graveyard. Let's see, we've got Ragavan, Rabbit Battery, Rip Apart, really roaring in this. I don't want to go for turn one Ragavan because I feel like they might concede, but it is the right move. So, opponent, do you have removal for Ragavan? If they do, then it's fine and the game will continue on. That's, that's like kind of what I want. Oh, a blocker even. Oh, no, they just want to do crime. Ah, okay, I see. This is just a match between two criminals. We got a rabbit battery there. We're going to rip that apart. Oh, throat gophers! Use our birthright boon. We could grab something that has some graveyard hate attached. Or we could just try to hate at their uh, commander, too. I kind of like Lion Sash, and this matchup feels right. Nahiri, the Harbinger. I have a tapped creature, artifact, or enchantment. Nice. Hi, Nahiri. Get down Danatha. Danatha will discount the Lion Sash. Now we have two friends. Two friends. One can exile from graveyards. 
Yeah, if I start seeing like big scary creatures in the graveyard, I have to get rid of them. Like this one, yes, like exactly like this. Imagine they're going to hit the lion sash. Are they going for Danatha? They're going for Danatha. Sword of Fire and Ice. No more Aurelias. Please and thank you. There's two more permanents at least here. They'll be able to get rid of that off of Nahiri's Minus. And that's fine with me. We got creatures. So many creatures. Just keep eating that graveyard. Yum, yum, yum. Murder? Oh no! Helen's dead! I'm being asked, if I equip it, does it dodge in a hurry? No. As long as it's tapped from attacking, then it can still be exiled. Sun Titan! I get to reanimate before you do! Monkey, return! <laughs> that was the sound of a monkey returning from the graveyard. To the battle. It's a normal noise. It's normal. That's what monkeys sound like when it go like that. They don't have enough cards in the graveyard, but now they do have a 6-6 six, six lifelink, vigilance, menace. Those are uh, Kunarosa's keywords there. But it will be unable to block some of my creatures here. Specifically Ragavan. I guess I could attack with Sun Titan. But I'd rather steal. Like, right here, I'm faced with do I want to deal more damage or do I want to do crime? And, like, you you know the, you know the answer. It's crime. It's always going to be crime. GG. Extus Auric Overlord. Very often, a tokens deck, but a sacrificing tokens deck. Uh, I think that Extus is pretty cool. You never play the front side, though. It's all about Awaken the Blood Avatar. In fact, the Blood Avatar is kind of the commander of the deck, except, well... It's not legendary. You can actually have multiple blood avatars out, and you get them out by casting the spell, which is discounted based on the number of things that you sacrifice. Hey, Sram, come on out. I hope you can draw me some cards off the Shadow Sphere, Swift Foot Boots, and any other equipments or auras we happen to get. Dreadhorde Invasion gets them a token each turn. Start with my shadow sphere here. See what I draw. <gasps> Lizzie blades. Ah, yeah, lizard blades. I love lizard blades. Reason. Uh, lizard also blade. Ah, oh, a blood artist gonna drain me as they sacrifice things. Scary, actually. Very, very scary. I could kill it with Nihiri. Using the minus ability. I like that. I also like the idea of uh, exiling it. But I'll start by killing it. Minus three. Hitting that blood artist. And if they want to, I'm going to let them kill Nihiri this next turn. This will be a 2-2. Two, two. And the reason for why is because I don't want to trade this for that. It'll be a 2-2, two, two, not a 1-1. One, one. At most, six mana. 
Oh, an ascend from Avernus going into the graveyard. They also might just want to leave this back to defend. Though they know I can, you know, load up SRAM with tons of stuff. Yeah, they're leaving it back. Lesson? Get a guy? Uh... Yeah, put some blades on that guy. Draw a card off SRAM's ability with the swift hit boots. I'm equipping. And we're gonna let it rip. Continue to play on the offensive. Would you like to trade? My double striking core warrior? Cool. I've already feel like I've gotten enough out of SRAM. And here's Skrelv! A little bubbly toxic knight. Give me some protection on these creatures. I'm able to spit out a 1-1 one, one every turn now. I could choose to put boots on it. Or a Shadow Spear. Or both. Shadow Spear has a higher equip cost, so we can probably start with that. Or the Lizard. The Lizard is the highest, the highest two. They're both the same. See four mana and a one one. Mythos of Snapbacks. Going to make me sacrifice things because they paid the special cost. They actually get to choose. So I keep one of my creatures, one of my artifacts, one of my planeswalkers. The hardest thing here is well, one of these is gonna go. Well, two of them. Three of them? One, two, three. Three of these uh, artifacts are gonna go. Okay, I am I am left booted. Sure. Kinda like Forge Anew here over Kellen. I forge anew and return my lizard blades to the battlefield. Uh this only lets me use equip costs for zero. That's still cool. In we go. Reconfigure, not equip. That's why the Brunor is actually changed in Arena to work a little better. And I'm actually going to scooch these back over here. Hi! I'm a 1-1. One -one. I'm ready to block. Just in case. Falcon Wrath, Noble, their creatures dying will cause me to lose life. They're probably playing uh, two of the new token spitter routers in this deck, Bitter Blossom and Skrelv's Hive. They both work really well with Awaken the Blood Avatar. Yeah, on my turn, I can I can like shift things around. Um, no, that's fine. Nahiri gets bonked. Bonk. Ooh, Wandering Emperor. I have so many decisions here. If I had another mana, I would have more fun things I can do. I'm just going to play Kellen. It's weird to like not use Birthright Boon first. Sure, get bladed. Cool, cool, cool. And swinging in with Kellen and these two little guys. I guess I shouldn't have equipped the lizard blades since they would have been attacking as a 2 1 with double strike. That's fine. I just like taking game actions. And this should surprise nobody.
They have two life remaining, but sacrificing creatures will gain them some life back. Or killing my creatures. Falconrath Noble swings at Nahiri and takes her out. They could cast Waken the Blood Avatar, but I think they're going to do it post-combat, even though there is a really strong on attack for this. It also makes me sacrifice a creature, but we have creatures to sacrifice. We have all these core warriors. Couriers? No, a courier is a person who delivers things. They're core warriors. Claim the first- Hey! That's mine! That's my courier! Who is delivering a message for me? The message was, please don't cast your commander. Ah, oof, ow, and owie. With five mana? They can sacrifice two. Oh, they left back the three three. Drop this. I actually thought they would have left back the uh, Falcon Wrath Noble just to gain an extra life there. Had they stolen the equipped one, it would have been cute. Mm hmm. Okay, so right now they would have to block both. They both already have double strike. We're going to unattach this. We're going to attach this. Hmm. Do we want it over here? It's free for me to move this around. This feels better. Let the two go through, lose that, kill Kellen. I probably should have used my zero cost ability to move the war whip onto this and then move that. Hello! You crave violence. Creatures, be gone! Move Kellen to the command zone. Put the boots on the guy. That's a turn. They go to one. Thanks, Red Horde Invasion. We love and appreciate you. If they'd like, they could uh, sacrifice a blood avatar, get another blood avatar. This is still currently killing them. One more turn. One more life. Ari's of expertise. They have stolen my core warrior. Unlucky witness. Being cast for free. One, two, three, four creatures. Now you can awaken the blood avatar. And that would force me to sacrifice the rebel. Whee! Hi there. Are you ready to die? I believe we also have many ways we can kill them this turn. Boromir. Boots on the Boromir. Double strike, Boromir. Ah, I would have to do it in the other order. No double strike, Boromir. Just regular strike. Still. Finishes the job. Kills them before the zombies can. GG. Zimone and Dina excel at playing little creatures and sacrificing them. Drawing cards, putting lands into play, and draining me, their opponent. Uh, with this hand, I think we are good to keep. Probably throwing this down, naming white, and scrying. Hi, Zimone and Dina. So there's two major types of Zimone and Dina. 
there's the one that's focused on sacrificing. And then there's the one that's focused on ramping and playing Emergent Ultimatum to just get out some big dumb win con cards. One of these decks is cool and fun to play against. And the other one is, well, I wish it didn't exist. So we'll have to see what they're playing as the game goes on. I have no way of stopping my opponents from playing rude dude versions of Zimone and Dina. Now see, this card, Dig Up, being in their deck, means it's almost certainly the just ramp up into ultimatum. And you're wondering, Amy, how do you know that? How could you tell? Well, it's because they were, they're running tutors. They're running tutors because that's how they find ultimatum. This is a flexible tutor, but it's still a tutor. Let's start with Jorkadine. Jorkadine gets bigger with equipment and also is a legend, which means this comes in untapped and Mary will be drawing us a card. Mary and Jorkadine, best pals. Playing as for Sentinel to tax their cards. I heard my cat just scrambling around. He's so sleepy. Hi, Zimone and Dina. That's a rebel, not a warrior. Die. Draw a card. Lizard blades. Solemn Simulacrum coming out here. One, two. Equipping Jorkadeen. Paying three life. Inchblade Companion. Equipping the Inchblade Companion to Mary. And we attack in with these two. Jorkadeen gets a buff and draws a card. 3-3 three, three with the first strike for 8 trampoline damage. Equipment Lizard really is just a beautiful type of card. Oh, I love Lizard Blades so much. So far... Five mana. They could replay Zimone and Dina. If they do, they'll conquer her! Elvish Rejuvenator. This is a great card to sacrifice with Zimone and Dina. Also, it ramps. Traverse the Elvenwald! Do you pay the one? They did pay the one. And they also are going to search for a land or creature. They're delirious. What creature do you get? Timeless Witness. Hmm. Pretty sure I have lethal here. Hold up, let me just double check. Yeah, that seems right. Get that thing out of here. And destroy them! Also, draw cards. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Jor. You guys are great. Love it when it works. Shatterfang Squirrel General! Sacrifices squirrels and makes even more whenever a token enters the battlefield under their control. I love Chatterfang. And Chatterfang has some infinite combos, so it's a strong and sneaky little squirrel. Well, I've got some rodents too. Actually, they're not rodents. I learned that rabbits are lagomorphs, which are not rodents. I, I understand the distinction is minimal slash negative to most of us, but somebody out there is going to be like, ah, good, she knows bunny science. Yeah. Totally. I know so much bunny science. I know enough bunny science that you can put the bunny on the guy, and he draws me a card. Thank you, Jorkadine. <laughs> Lagomorphs are relatively large, gnawing animals. Wow, distinguished from rodents by having two pairs of upper incisors specialized for gnawing. 
It just means rabbit shaped. I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind them being rabbit shaped. They certainly are rabbit shaped. Huh, shapeshifter. Did they pay the six? Yo, mad respect. Real gamers pay the six. A true person of culture pays the six. Oh, I love that knocked off the rabbit battery because it's protection from red. A deadly dispute. Bonk. Mm hmm. Good. Excellent. We can play two lands this turn. And we'll use those for this. And we'll get. Uh. All that glitters? It's perfect for Brawl Stars. I go to four. Black Market Connections doing what Black Market Connections does. Now I want to look at pictures of bunnies. Bunny picture. Gosh, that's a good Google search. Oh, a grave fact. How grave, how dire. Chairfang! I don't have any first strike here, but we do have trample. Uh, hey. Do you have a way to sacrifice your creatures? Specifically right now? Oh yeah, that's a squirrel. They're both squirrels! I forgot shapeshifter is squirrel. Alright, we got boots here. We get the boots, the Kellen, the double strike, the disaster, and the victory! Good game! Jasoth, Sun's Avatar! It's dinosaurs! Do, 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 was looking for more mana. Right, I mean, it's alright. We got Lizzie Blades. Do I want to play Colossus Hammer on turn one? Yes. Hi, Jasoth. If Jasoth hits my face, they get dinosaurs. All the dinosaurs that are in the top, that amount of damage equals that number of cards. Everybody loves it. Check it out. Bam. Lizard blades. So a beaver is a rodent, and rabbits are not rodents. They're large, semi-aquatic rodents. Wow. Amazing. I... Don't have anything to do here. No white mana. I'm all again. Still didn't find any. I think dinosaurs is Lizzie's. Is a lizard. Huh. Plate armor. One, two, three equipment. Boop. I could use a three, three. Sorry, five, four, four with double strike. Yeah! Go get him! Bonk. Great bonk and lizard. I love you, lizards. I love you so much. Thank you, Savage283, for gifting us up to Hufflebuffle. That's what Surge. Oh, they're ramping. They're getting awful close to Jasoth. In fact, they might be able to play it next turn. All they need is an untapped land. Hey, wait. Yeah. Yeah! 14 14 with double strike! Now that's a good lizard! It, Kellen is like, wait. 
Isn't this my deck? Aren't I supposed to do things? Shut up, Kellen. Get out of here. It's lizard time. Please? No! Please? No. So with all these dinosaurs, what could they cast? They, ha they have seven mana. And if they could just kill this, that'll be enough. Okay, no, but they could block it. Currently does not have trample. They don't need trample. We can just give it protection from you. Protection from Gruul. We swing in for 16. Uh, we also get the trigger off the Sword of Mountain Dew and Doritos. And we swing in again. Nice shot. I've already played against an Ashiok during this video, but this person also has a Kellen avatar, so I want to play against them too. I think that's neat. I like to see a fellow Kellen out about in public. Ashiok, still exiling cards, still pain with a deck instead of life. And still rampant, apparently. Hello, Cold Steel Heart. Uh, I could either use the Birthright Boon here or flash out the Lizard Blades. Yeah, I want to flash out the Lizard Blades. Key to the Archive. I don't like that. I actively don't like that. It's, it's not a card I want to see, now or ever. Just to hope Loran off the top. Right? Loran off the top. Check it out, though. Lizard Blaze. This is actually my Lizard Blade Commander deck. I love Lizard Blade Commander deck. It's the best one. Do I have anything here that would help? Not really. I'll just play Boromir. If they try to cast something for free, that their deck doesn't really do that. Well, then I'll be here to stop them. That is so much mana. They have seven mana and a lightning helix. Lizard Blades is now legendary and tempted by the ring. Two one ones. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Two one ones indeed. Two dead one ones. Use my lizards to attack Ashiok. Cool. Ciao. Hello, yes. Two cards. One goes in hand, one's in, into exile. Oh, so they didn't keep Agatha's soul cauldron. Hello, Soren, who's without mirth. That vampire cannot block my lizard blades. But they can proliferate to keep these alive. We're gonna go for the classic move. Kellen. What do I want to grab? Now, I could just ossify one of those, but I kind of like actually buffing this up post blocks. It's really tasty. Any of the um, the two cost things, or we could just go for the uh, go for the uh, hammer. Yeah. If I give her runes, a classic misdirect. I'll attack their face. Oh, look, you can't block because I'm tempted by the ring. Ha ha ha, look at my ring bearer. Twenty-two damage! Yeah! Die! Die some more! Alright, so that one. You should definitely proliferate. <laughs> you should definitely proliferate. Ashiok looking at those cards. They did go up to three life. Possible that they uh, try to get another blocker out. Just minusing Soren. 
since plussing is unlikely to be something they can do. They could also have a board wipe. We know they're running at least one board wipe, probably two, probably Meat Hook Massacre and Blood on the Snow. Ah, Craig. Iron Craig. No, you can't pay life you don't have, even if it's being replaced. There's that Blood on the Snow. Lightning Bolt! Boo, you're not Lightning Bolt. Get rid of the key to the archive. Oh, I hate when it's not lightning bolt. Could have made some blockers there instead, just looking for card advantage. Meetuk Massacre, there it is. So those are the two board wipes I expect from their deck. They could also be running same things like Massacre Worm. Mm, murderous Rider. Oh, look at you and your little life dinkers. Little stinky life linkies. Let's see what they have. One, two, three, four. Hitting Murderous Rider. Loran, Boromir, Lizard Blades, return to me! They go up to three. I'm down here just like lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Arcane Signet, more mana. Mithril Coat, that's not what I crave. Helen, get out of here. Helen's like, can I wear the hammer? No, I don't have enough mana, sweetie. I'm sorry. Sweetie, I'm sorry. That was a very expensive eat to extinction. They're about to heal up to five though, which is relevant because it means they can activate more abilities. Like this one, drawing a card. Ooh, Nyxos! And Liliana! Yikes! Liliana's real scary. Kind of like Lizard Blades the most here. Because I can have it survive Liliana. Yeah, you equipped to yourself. Ooh, good job! Good job, sweetie! I'm sorry, I'm not trying to patronize you. They proliferate. All right. Take it old Liliana. They proliferate once more. Okay. I choose Akiri, Lizard Blades, and the one land that I have untapped. And I guess Sigarda's Aid is also here. What's this? Swamp! And... Those so much mana. They could they could untap this. And do it again. Hi, Gaunty. You're here to do crime. Relatable. See if we can get like an evasive thing. For one mana. I mean it equips for free. Sword of Fire and Ice! Dang, what a good steal! Okay. This comes in tapped. We tack. 
Anyway, go. Dang. <laughs> we detach our lizard blades. Kiri becomes indestructible. Ashiok, can you kill me? You're close, but not quite there. Oh no! Um... Kiri. Enchantment Chan. I don't think we're winning this one. I'll say, good game! Hi, Sheldred! Bye, Lizard Blades! Bonk! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All they have to do is attack. They don't need to do this. They have lethal. It's, it's on the board. You got this, buddy. Yeah! They solved the riddle. I think they might have, like, not noticed Sword of Fire and Ice. Oh, yeah, it deals two extra damage. It does. Good game. Rona, Sheldred's Faithful. Not a commander I expected to see. This is the uncommon Rona from Dominaria United, though they're using the Multiverse Legends version of it. Uh, this Rona drains your opponent when you cast Instance or Sorcery. It's like a fairer version of Rusko. And can be cast from the graveyard by discarding cards. I assume we're going to see some good cards in Demir, though. To support Rona. Good instance and sorceries, especially. Oh, hey, Urtai. You're kind of like an instant or sorcery. I want to see what you have in your hand. It's... Hero's Downfall, Gargantua, Whisper Agent, Sabotage, and Invasion of Amonkhet. Oh, I do love Invasion of Amonkhet. I'm going to tax Hero's Downfall. Playing Boromir. Lots of surveil. Maybe they run disinformation campaign. That would be cute. By the way, if I cast a spell for free, like a flipped battle, I'm still fine. They do have Whisper Agent available. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Agent, agent, agent. I will uh, encourage a trade here. Bring it out. Nice. Because that gives me a window to get the real threats onto the battlefield. Rayav and Blackwade Reforged. Five lands might not seem like a lot, but when you give it double strike, ooh, it adds up fast. Maybe they play Rona. Good blocker. Because we know that they have a kill spell, uh, I want to get Swift Foot Boots ready. My equipping priority. Ah, wow, we have drawn lands. Have we ever? If they have an edict effect, something that makes you sacrifice a creature, that would get rid of Rayav. It makes birds. But shh, don't tell anybody it makes birds. Oh, hi, Scraps. A kitty cat is out here. Hello, girl. Aren't you small and fluffy? Would you like attention? Petting on the head, maybe? Would you like to be on camera? Oh, who's my good girl? It's you, Scraps. Scraps says, I am the star of the show. Me, Brawl Stars Scraps. Oh, baby. Fall off the spacebar, please. 
Baby, paw off the space bar. Baby, please paw off the space bar. Thank you. She's why you're the best one. Because I love you. Because I love you. That's why. Because I think you're a good girl. So we can make this unblockable or we could give it. Pineapple and lifelink. I like that. The equipping. And we're going in for 20 damage. They see it coming. We see it coming. Scribs, did you see that? Did you see that? We won! You're so good. You're your best one. Love you, girl. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Brawl Stars. As always, if you'd like to watch me record these live, where Scrap shows up occasionally, she just meanders her way off of the screen, you should come over to twitch.tv slash Amazonian. I stream almost every single day. I play Brawl, I play Standard, and I played some Explorer today. And I do a lot of drafts, which usually don't make it to YouTube. I don't know why, it just works a lot better to do them live, so we just do them live. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have a commander you'd like to see, especially from Wilds of Eldrain or another recent set, please let me know. Or if there's an older commander you'd like me to revisit, like maybe Corvold. We've had a lot of treasures since Corvold was printed. I'm happy to update those decks and brew them again for Brawl Stars. Thank you so much for watching, and have a brutal day.